Hi, good afternoon, everybody. I know I'm standing in between the lunch and the sessions here, so I'm sure I'll try to make it as simple as possible and as quick as possible because I know uh, there's a time limit here. And before I start, uh, I'm going to break the session to two. One, I'm going to present on M Health, which is what I'm going to be speaking on, which is mobile, how mobile phones and how tablets are impacting healthcare industry in US, Europe, and India too. And uh, the second session is what I'm going to talk on mobile conference, which we are coming up at, C at Chennai. This is second year. I know someone recognized me saying, hey, I saw you at mobile conference last year. I said, thanks. I'm here for that too. All right. So I'm going to be talking about mobile conference, which is going to come 22nd of this February, which I want uh, Coimbatore, a good number of participation from Coimbatore as well. Before I get started there, how many of you here use mobile phones? Good question. I know that will come. How many of you use two mobile phones? Honestly, I want you to raise your hands. Good number. How many of you use mobile one, mobile two, and a tablet as well? Wow. Awesome. Thank you. Good. Now, I know I had veteran speakers speaking about how mobile phones are changing in automa uh, in automobile world, how mobile phones are, you know, he very rightly said, and retailing how things happen. You'd be amazed to see the amount of work happening in healthcare. The same mobile phone, one, two, tablet, laptop, everything you're carrying is actually switching on to one, and how the smartphone and tablets are helping us move faster and move smarter. Believe it or not, mobile technology is arguably the most dynamic innovation in healthcare. Bosch presented what they're doing. So I presented what retailing is doing, and I'm going to present to you what M Health is doing. And that being said, we're going to take view of many from the world market as to what they feel, what could, what is the report on healthcare? And let's run a small video from world over what they feel, what healthcare, what M Health actually is all about. Sorry, can I have a voice here, please? patient's pocket. Yes, and it's how you use technology to de deliver an intervention to a patient. So in other words, what M Health is about is 5.3 billion connections to people going up really fast. So mobile health is a, it's a catalog of things. A form of personalized medicine or personalized health. What mobile health does is it takes the uh, right information and access to service providers and puts it right in the patient's pocket. Yes, and it's how you use technology to de deliver an intervention to a patient. So in other words, is how you can change the paradigm to have a patient-centered approach. Health happens when you're on the move, whether you're a physician, a clinician, or a consumer patient. People are mobile, and wireless brings mobility. So it's not about the mobility, it's about the connectivity. I mean, you can do anything along the healthcare spectrum from really complex, you know, telemedicine, telehealth, teleradiology, to basic services, you know, getting an SMS about sexual health and reproductive services. Health content on SMS, health content on mobile web, um, even original health videos. Uh, mobile health to me means meeting people where they are, not just geographically, but also emotionally. M Health is really a platform. Um, it's uh, in your hands, it's in your pocket, it goes with you wherever you are, um, and it's a new way to reach the last mile. Improving access dramatically to health services. So leveraging the phone in a pocket, in somebody's pocket, we can extend health services in a way that we couldn't before. M Health, disruptive, low cost, it's all about the potential. It has luckily become an inclusive uh, technology which has crossed all classes and all barriers and has reached even the poorest of communities. So mobile health is always on the go healthcare. So you're doing anything related to your health on your on your cell phone. Mm -hmm. So you, whether you're doing a personal health record, uh, whether you're checking your glucose level, or whether you just want to know how far you walk. Mobile health is something which is more of a revolution. There's going to be a convergence between M Health and E Health. E Health, M Health, whatever you call it, because I think 
the greatest need is in the rural populations of Africa, and that's where I want to make a difference. And with mobile health, they can actually be uh, diagnosed, uh, you know, on a remote basis. And I just think um, it, it's, a, it's a great tool because it can provide access. And I think that providers need to learn that they need to get in there and be willing to interact in ways that are uncomfortable and ways that are just not what we're traditionally used to doing. And I'm hoping that we'll rise to that challenge and be a part of this wave of improved health. Well, that's exactly what the world has to say, how mobile technology is impacting healthcare. And I'm going to run a little snapshot as to what's happening all over and where are we heading to in India. And I come from the background where we've been into this industry for almost 10 years. They say, you need to dirty your hands. We've actually dirty the hands, being to the hospitals, doing all sort of work on mobile, RFID, whatnot. And I'm sure these two buzzwords creates a lot of interest in the market today. But I'm going to show you real time how this technology actually helps transform. Actually, if you see overall, this is the state of the M Health world over. They say there are 11 million hospitals all over in the developing countries in contrast to 5 billion mobile phones all over. And 80% of the doctors in the U.S. actually use smartphones and mobile apps. I'll show you a couple of applications which I, I actually run on, how they help doctors and how smartly that neonatals and nurses, they don't need doctor's advice when they need to actually address the patients. The mobile phones act as a doctor. And I have a few applications which you'll be amazed to see how these calculators have been designed. You don't need to carry drug guides. You don't need to carry uh, anatomies anymore. You don't need to carry flip cards with you. All you do is your mobile phone, the smartphone, which acts as a doctor to you. A patient has a problem. All they have to do is turn on the mobile phone, go to the patient, check whether he's a male or female, just say male then say age, and then say what is the ailment he's got into. And the moment this is done, the calculator calculates and tells you what is it that a nurse has to do. It's amazing, and these calculators have been designed by these set of doctors who are experts in these domains. And they, what they do is they integrate these calculators with the drug guides and bring up the solution for the nurses. We see there are currently more than 320 mobile phones in U.S. and 1.7 million hospital beds. That's about 185 phones for every bed. In India, the numbers change drastically. I'm going to come to that as well. 78% of consumers in the U.S. are interested in mobile health solutions. In India, uh, I'm telling you, with the highest mobile phone users of China, Imagine the potential what we have and what we're going to do using mobile phones. Right now, except for your SMSs, except for our MMSs or whatever we do, chats, XYZ, the amount of applications what you're going to run on, you will see as the healthcare in America has been impacted highly due to the cost in India, soon it's, we're going to touch the bottom too. So coming to it, we say as of late, but 2012, we see there were more than 13,000 medical applications which were available in iTunes App Store, and we say medical healthcare applications are the third fastest growing category in terms of download. 88% of physicians would like, when I say 88%, one in a third physician in America is actually carrying a mobile phone or a smartphone. The moment he enters into the hospital, first thing they do is check what is the schedule, it is to check what is their next item in action. So we say two-thirds of the physicians say they, use, they are using mobile phones which are personal, not connected to ITs, for the reason that they can carry anatomies, drug guides, and a lot of applications out of the hospital network. Now, this is important. You see the looming demographic bulge of aging baby boomers and rising the costs of the hospital care are driving a moment to provide medical care in the person's own home. This is where it says that do-it-yourself concept is catching up in America and very soon in India too. All you do is you need to check your pulses, glucose check, your weight check. You're carrying one, two, three mobile phones. Don't need to do it. One mobile phone with all these applications that do act as a smart doctor for you on your pockets. What is the example of these is do-it-yourself when I'm talking about is like you say you can, as I rightly said, you can check your weights, you can check your sleep management. You don't need to, I mean, 
you know, doctors actually, time and again, you make a medical record, you have a calendar in hand saying, doctor tells you a pill for clinical test, you say, I had pill one at this time, I had pill two at this time, you wouldn't remember. But with mobile phone, there are smart apps which will help you, remind you to take pills. The moment you take pills, the moment you click a button, the information goes to the doctor on his machine. The doctor would know what are the timings you actually skip, what are the timings you took your medicine, and this is how the clinical apps works in terms of testing your new medicine. Glucose monitoring is, again, something which every second, every fourth Indian, they say, would need to do in the future. The calorie apps, the apps like uh, testing your diabetes. A mobile phone is going to do it. Now, there's a big question all over. It says, is mobile health poised to explode? Perfect. I've already got a check saying I have five minutes to mind. Positive. I'll run as quick as possible. Perfect. So coming back to it, we say that around 250% of the doctors are going to use this uh, tablets and mobile phones all over. And coming to it, we have Nike who actually brings in, he says he's got smart chip which are put into the shoes, how fast you walk or where you are is tracked using the chip and there's a small mobile device right in it. Just a couple of applications which I'm going to run which in India is happening is Fortis hospitals are using feedback application forms using tablets. Pretty smartly done. Gonna use, I'm going to actually use a little bigger tablet to show you what they're doing it. Pretty witty app they do. All they put up is you need a patient ID on it. The moment you put a patient ID up here, it runs on and see how quick and how smartly I'm able to do it. The patient is actually able to take the feedback. Look at this lady up here. Look at the witty app I'm talking about. If you like something good, you say good. Rather than taking a pen and paper, which is a normal form, they're now using it tablets. And look at the way it goes on. All I need to do is the flip of a clip button. If I'm happy, I say happy. If I'm not, I'm, I'm sure you're not able to, people behind not able to see it, but the VT apps are right up here. And then comes up the reports, which actually helps in the pen and paper. You might not get a better reports, but with this, you get reports online, and that particular department is informed real time saying that the patient up here in this zone is not happy with your services. Coming back to it, this is a tracking application which you use again Wi-Fi. This is wireless and mobile. What we do is this is smart. This is something which we give you to Apollo and Fortis and Manipal Hospital. I mean all of the patients are coming in, have these pa patient IDs and the RFID tags on them, their Wi-Fi. They don't do anything on the wire, I mean on the hardware. This works on wireless again. This tracks you real time where you're moving. And look at the, dog. I mean, these are the patients. He's got a message written inside. The good part about this is when you switch this on, I don't know how many people are active. It runs such a message right up here. If a doc, if someone actually, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, if a patient, doctor has to call in a patient, he doesn't need to make announcements anymore. All he has to do is send in a message to the RFID tag, whereas in the hospital. That is the beauty of Wi Fi and wireless right here. Look at the Technician, the moment the process is completed, all it does is clicks a button right up here on the, the, onto the tag, and the system back end is updated, the test is completed. And how you track them real time? This is the beauty of it. When you see, when you want to know how many patients are in which room, which zone, all you do is real time you can track it. And is it a male or female? You get it right there. And you want to track an asset real time? All you use is a chip again to track which asset is lying in which zone. And they are Something's your accuracy of less than a meter. And you want to know how many assets, how many males, how many females lying on that floor. The wireless does everything in it. And the beauty of this is, imagine if you're in an emergency and you have a problem. How do you let the doctor or the hospital know? All you do is simply tuck down the tag. The moment you tuck down the tag, the button releases. The information goes to the back end, right up. This is all wireless, saying that I am in this particular zone, in this particular room, and I am needing emergency services. Coming to it, we also have something on what we do is these tablets are actually going to be used for patient digital assistance, for educating a patient. You have a hyperlipidemia, and you want to know what's going on. All you do is simply go to that particular session and say. So I don't know how many can hear, actually. So. This is where a patient, when he's lying on the bed, these are going to be kept to the screens on the tablets for the patients to learn 
what these are and what hyperlipidemia is, or he wants to know on the food items what he's supposed to take on that particular ailment. So tablets and mobile phones are actually going to create a huge number, great impact in healthcare. Coming to it, I would take you on to a small video before I close the session in a minute from now. This is what the future we are heading to. Oh, uh, Charles, am I doing some mistake again? Charles, can I have you here? Oh, there you go. Can you help me set it up, please? Before I conclude, as I said, uh, CII is organizing in Chennai a mobile health conference on 22nd of February, 
and uh, we have a uh, good number of participation coming in. I request Coimbatore as well to please be a part of this conference. And there are stalls which are coming up with ASLO because I remember last time many uh, companies from Coimbatore came in and said, one lakh or 50,000 is on a slightly higher side. Can you make it up a little low? And CII in Chennai and as a panel took a decision. They're going to keep the stalls as low as 25K. You've got 18 of the stalls out of the, the, them, 11 are sold. And I request that all those companies would like to participate Please be a part of a mobile conference, which is at Lee Meridian again on 22nd of February this month. Thank you so much for your patience and very for lunch. Thank you.